Hi guys, today's video is about chords. Now songs mainly have two parts, right? A melody section which goes like and a rhythm section which is played by chords. So on a guitar, a chord is when we play more than two strings at the same time. So this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord, right? I'm going to teach you guys a few chords right now which will be used in the songs that I'm going to show you in later videos. Now, the main thing that we have to remember about chords is our posture. Our right hand must be nice and relaxed when you strum. I tell all the kids that I teach that strumming is like putting Nutella on toast or painting a wall. So it's got to be nice and smooth. You don't have to hit the strings very hard. Okay, on to our left hand. The fingers need to be in a curved position. If you can see my fingers are nice and curved, we don't need flattened fingers. We need fingers to touch one string at one time only. My thumb needs to be straight, not flat. It needs to be straight like this. A little bit of angle like this is fine, but it should generally be pointing up. I don't want my thumb to be too low. I want it to be nice and, and positioned like this. And my wrist needs to be nice and low, not flat up against the guitar, right? So make sure there's a little bit of space like this when you play your chords, right? Now I'm going to demo a few chords for you. The first chord is an E major, where we have finger number one over here, finger number two over here, and finger number three over here. And we strum all the six strings for the E major, right? The symbol for the E major is the letter E. The next chord is the E minor and it's the easiest change from the E major. This is your E major. You just pop this chord out and you get an E minor. Again, you strum all the six strings for the E minor. Easy, right? The A major is the next chord where you take your pinky on the second string, your ring on the third and your middle on your fourth string from the bottom and you strum just the bottom five remember for the a we don't touch this and we strum the bottom five strings and we get a nice clean a major and a minor sort of looks like the e major but it's all down by one string so index finger is here middle is here ring is here remember to curve your wrist uh, to curve your fingers check your wrist and your thumb and strum five strings only get a nice A minor sound the next chord is a C major it's a little bit of a stretch but if you practice hard enough you'll definitely get it so it's got one two and three and again only the bottom five strings we don't touch the top string and we go like that for the C major the G major is where I put my ring finger on fret three my index finger on fret 2 5th string and my middle finger up here and I go all strings again. So that's my G major. D major is a triangular shape chord where you have finger number 1 here, finger number 2 here, finger number 3 here. Watch out, they're very close together so make sure your fingers are nice and curved. And again for D, we only play the bottom 4 strings don't touch these two strings at all okay the last chord that we have to cover is a B minor so this is one where we use all four fingers finger number one is in the second fret bottom string finger number two third fret fingers three and four are up on the fourth fret again like your D your finger your B minor is just a four string chord <laughs> that's what you do you just from the bottom of four strings okay so remember guys practice your chords songs are all about changing from chord to chord easily make sure you know what strings you have to leave out for what chords again E and G you play all the strings for A major A minor C you play five strings and for the D and the B minor you only play the bottom four strings make sure again you focus on sound and not speed. Speed will come. Make sure you get everything right in terms of posture and strumming well. 
गुड लक गाइस